Chibi's World once again. Sa mga nag-request ng how to bake a red velvet cake. So, here it is na po guys. Gagawa tayo ng video. How to make a red velvet cake. So, guys, for the recipe, nag-search po tayo dito sa YT. Of course, yung trending na recipe para malaman natin kung kaano ba ito kasarap, kung it is moist, fluffy, and yun. So, nakuha ko po siya sa, siya sa mga trending videos na gumawa ng red velvet cake. So, we will try in this video. Then, please do watch until the end para ma makita o marinig nyo ang aking sasabihin about the red velvet cake. Sorry, yung parang review natin kung ano yung result or outcome ng, the, ng red velvet cake. Okay? So, before going further, guys, kung hindi, po, kung hindi pa po kayo nakakonect sa channel ko, if you like and love this video, please do subscribe. And you can share this to your friends and loved ones. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification for you to be updated. Ayan. Okay. So, before pala, just a quick, ano lang, quick idea kung ano po yung red velvet cake. Actually, yung red velvet cake is, it has acidity po that comes from the buttermilk and vinegar. And it has a combination flavor of chocolate, mild chocolate flavor, and butter. So, butter, butter parang nalalasahan nyo po si butter cake at saka si chocolate cake. Yung chocolate, chocolate lang naman is very mild flavor. But it, it gives a very good combination flavor between the two. So, ayan. So, with much pa, imamatch up pa yan ng cream cheese. Wow. Perfect. So, masarap po talaga siya, guys. So, I made this video just for you guys. The frosting that I'm going to use here is the Whippet frosting that I will flavor it with cream cheese frosting. So, I'm not going to use the, the pure cream cheese or uh, pair it with or mix it with whipped cream or something like that. So, we will see the result at the end of the video if the cake batter that I got from the YouTube uh, creator and my frosting will complement each other. Okay? So, Let's proceed to make our cake batter for the red velvet cake. Okay, here is our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients. Okay, now we will sift all the dry ingredients, our flour, our baking soda, our cocoa powder, and then salt. So everything should be sifted. Uh, so that there, there's no lumps on our cake mixture or cake butter, okay? Okay, we will now mix uh, first the butter the sugar and the eggs so we will use here the hand mixer if you don't have hand mixer you can use the hand whisk but i will use here the hand mixer first we will beat the batter it, this is already at room temperature it is soft already uh, we will beat this until it becomes fluffy and smooth Now we need to scrape the batter from sides to bottom so that everything will be uh, mixed well. Now we will add the sugar. We will beat this again and until all the sugar and butter will incorporate and well combined. Now we mix already our butter and sugar. It's already incorporated. So this time we will add our eggs one at a time only. Then we will beat this again. Then we will add our remaining eggs. Beat na naman natin ulit. 
we will beat this until well combined and everything will incorporate of course from time to time before we proceed we will scrape the mixture from the sides to bottom so that lahat talaga pag uh, mix talaga siya no so there's no lumps from the from the sugar or from the butter okay so we will pour in our buttermilk make sure that we will mix this slowly using our rubber scraper oh by the way guys if we don't have we don't have a buttermilk in our location here in philippines i cannot find any buttermilk so what i did i make a substitute for that one tablespoon of white vinegar plus one cup of milk okay then now we will add our vegetable oil so i use vegetable oil uh, mix uh, slowly until everything will incorporate yeah so we will mix that we mix that we will mix that mixture very well hanggang mag incorporate lahat mag blend lahat yung oil yung buttermilk and yung uh, butter natin sugar and eggs then we will use a hand mixer now we will beat this just a few seconds lang just mag final ano lang final mixing natin then now we will proceed by adding our dry ingredients okay so we will just make this into three portion first portion we will add the flour first then we will mix this a few seconds lang po yung bid natin dito ha. Hindi tayo, uh, it, it didn't take for minutes uh, to mix uh, every portion. Just uh, seconds lang po. Like 20, uh, like 10 to 30, 15 seconds for each portion. Ayan. So hanggang mag, ano lang siya, mag, hanggang mag incorporate, hanggang mag blend in lang yung, yung dry ingredients at saka wet ingredients natin. We will not over mix this. Okay? Para, why we don't need, we don't why we don't want to over mix this para hindi po siya mag dense or mag dry just to to maintain the the pagiging moist ng isang cake so we don't need to over over mix the mixture okay Oh, I forgot pala guys, yung vinegar, I supposed to add it earlier with the ingredients. So, I just put it there na lang, minix ko na lang siya dyan, yung 1 teaspoon of vinegar, okay? So, now we will add the red color, okay? I use here the McCormick. Now, we will measure the red color. In, uh, we will put first 1 tablespoon of red color. So you can use any any color guys, any brand of colors. So for me I use McCormick because I like the color that uh, how it gives uh, the color to our mixture. As you can see guys, you can see the color after putting 1 tablespoon so nagiging visible agad siya. So we will uh, check if we will add more. We will mix this for a bit. Yan, may mix natin ng maigi. Make sure to scrape at the sides, then sa bottom ng ano natin, uh, para lahat mag-incorporate talaga. Then, we will add again another half, about half tablespoon ng red color. So, medyo, nag, medyo nakulangan pa ako. So, nag, dagdag tayo ulit. So, all in all, naging one and one half tablespoon na red uh, McCormick color ang hinagay natin. So, yan. Tingnan nyo po ang kulay nagiging ano na po siya as in red na red I love the color very glossy oh tingnan mo yung new yung mixture it's very very shiny glossy siya oh. so maganda yung pag, pag mix natin so maganda talaga yung minsan kinakamay din natin kasi namimix natin with love <laughs> ayun okay now we will pour this to our baking pan size 8 by 2 
Okay, naka-grease na po yan with parchment paper. Uh, hanggang 3 fourth lang guys, hindi ko inubos yung, is, uh, uh, yung mixture kasi medyo aapaw na siya. So, okay. Then, we will use uh, dry heat method. Dry heat steam method. Parang ganun. Walang water siya. So, I just put a small stainless bowl there. So, kung saan pwede natin ilagay yung ating baking pan. Ayan. So, ayan. Uh, we will set muna ng 40 minutes. We will check kung okay yung 40 minutes. Then, if not, we will add another minutes. Okay? So, ayan guys, uh, 40 minutes is all, oh, oh, ayan, natapos na po yung 40 minutes na sinet natin. Okay, check natin yung cake. Oh, I can see it in the middle guys, it's still wet. So, we will not touch it first. We will not open the, the casserole. So, we'll just add another few minutes, like 15 minutes, isiset natin siya. Uh, para mag-continue yung cooking niya. Okay, so, siset natin ang 15 minutes that, uh, ayan guys. So, kung sa oven natin linuto yan, so 40 to 45 minutes lang. Pero dahil casserole nga ang ginamit natin and first time natin gumamit nito, so ayan, nagsiset pa tayo ng time. Okay, the 15 minutes is over. So now, we will check again. Of course, we will use a toothpick to check if it's cooked already. Ayan, prick natin sa middle. It comes out clean. The toothpick comes out clean. So, it means the luto na yung cake natin, guys. So, we will remove it from our casserole. Be careful. Kasi mainit talaga yan. Then, put, lagay natin sa ating uh, cooling rack. And we will let it sit there to cool completely, guys. Okay? We will make our Whippet cream cheese frosting. So I have here 300 grams of whippet frosting and 100 grams of cream cheese frosting. So if you want the video of this, guys, how I made this one, I will put the this uh, the description box below the link of the cream cheese frosting. Okay, and we will add a McCormick uh, lemon in our frosting. So we will start. We will mix the cream cheese frosting to our whippet frosting. Yan, scrape natin yung tira dyan so that everything will be added there. And we will beat uh, just a few seconds only just to make sure na mag-incorporate yung uh, whippet frosting natin at saka yung cream cheese frosting. Okay, ayan. So, we will just mix it. Uh, you can see that it's very firm. Ayan, so naging glossy na yung ating frosting. So at this point, mag-a-add tayo ng uh, McCormick Lemon. Ayan, sa isang cover, yun ang ginagawa kong measurement. Isang puno niyan, just a, a full of that. Ifu-full natin yung lemon doon. So, okay, then we will mix this uh, uh, again. Just uh, mag-blend lang lahat, yung lemon, yung cream cheese frosting, at saka yung whippet. Okay. Then, ibibit natin using the hand mixer um, para lang mag-incorporate lahat at saka maging stiff yung ating frosting. So, as you can see, it's very firm. Uh, ganda na ng consistency ng ating frosting. Now, it's perfect for covering a cake, for piping a cake. Ayan. So, it's perfect, guys. It's so good. And the texture is so nice. Okay? Now, we will cut... Uh, we cut already our cakes, then we will put our filling and we will cover it with frosting, okay? Okay, we will use here a finely grated red velvet crumbs. 
to cover the cakes. Okay, I have a cookie heart, cookie cutter here, heart design. So I will use this to to cut the the cake, uh, the dome. I remove it from the dome part of the red velvet cake that I, that we baked. Yeah, and so I will use it as a design on top of my cake. We're done with our cakes. We, we bake it already. We frost it already. We make a frosting, the whipped frosting mixed with cream cheese frosting and I added some lemon on it to make it more delicious. Okay, so it's sticky man time. Here it is na guys. Ayan, ito na yung ating red velvet cake and I think this the color is so good, so beautiful. Very red guys. So nakita niyo naman kung paano ko siya, uh, paano ko naglagay ng red color here. So, yan guys. So, this is it. Yung review natin. This is the the best part of it. Yung pikiman. Tasting time, guys. So so we will taste this, and we, I will let I will tell you how how this red velvet cake tastes. Okay. So I grab this recipe. I grab the recipe of the red velvet from the King Foodie. Ayan. So it has 5.4 million views. Oh my God. Oh, diba? So we will taste this, guys. Okay. Hmm. Parang mukha mas masarap siya, no? So, let's taste this. Wow. Soft. Kain tayo, guys. Kain tayo. Hmm. Dinalasahan ko ka, guys. Yung cake butter. The cake is so moist. The cake is fluffy. I can taste the butter and very light flavor of chocolate from the cocoa powder we put. Okay, so if you don't like the flavor of chocolate, you can less it, you can put less chocolate, but this is perfect. So you see, perfect, perfect. And the color itself, I use the McCormick red color. You can see the beauty of the color, right? So ayan. So the frosting that I use is the whipped frosting. I, I mix it with cream cheese frosting as as I have showed in the video that I made in the video paano ko ginawa yung cream cheese we put cream cheese frosting so it complements to the cake batter so nag blend siya guys so yung ginawa kong we put cream cheese frosting at sa cake red velvet cake batter in me the food the cooking fully nag complement po so it is so good guys so you can try the recipe guys and the frosting that I made you can make it as well um Ayan, so, nasa sa inyo na po. <laughs> so, ayan. Ang sarap. Hindi ko lang po ito napachill. Hindi ko pa ito nachill. Pero this will be yummier. Magiging mas masarap to once na chill na yung cake. Kasi kabag bago ko pa lang siyang frenos, tinikman ko kagad para sa inyo. Okay? Masarap siya, guys. So, this is not for sale. Kasi ginawa ko itong video na to para lang sa inyo. Okay? Uh, Nag-grab tayo ng recipe. Nag-review tayo kung ano yung recipe. Nang lasa ng recipe na shinare ni Miss The Foodie. The Cooking Foodie. It's, it's so good, guys. So, credit to the foodie. Credit to the Cooking Foodie, guys. So, grab it. Deserve niya talaga ng million views because grab it. This is so yummy. And of course, credit to me, the cream, cream with it cream cheese frosting. <laughs> Kasi nag-complement siya, guys, dito sa cake butter ng red velvet cake ni Mr. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, nag-complement siya kay ano, yung recipe ni uh, The Cooking Foodie. Okay? So, that's it, guys. So, thank you for watching and 
You can try this at home for your the cakes. Or you can make your own cakes for your loved ones, your friends. Of course, pwede, pwede din to pang business. So, nasa sa inyo, sa nasa inyo yan, guys. Kung gusto nyo to gawing business. Ayan. So, mga special occasions, you can make your own cakes. Okay? So, just a simple design like this that I made. Same thing. Ayan. So, bahala na kayo, guys. So, kung may mga katanungan kayo, if you have questions regarding the cakes that I made, or kung wala man ako nakalimutan ko to say it in here, you can ask me below the uh, uh, comment, just comment down below, guys, okay? And the link of the cream cheese and the whippet frosting, how to prepare the whippet frosting, I'll put it in the description box, okay? And the recipe, for the whole recipe, I will put it in the description box, just find it there, okay? So, of course, in the video, I put the caption of the recipe for each, okay? So, that's it, guys. So, thank you for watching and thank you for always supporting my channel and... God bless you. Keep safe. And bye, everyone. Thank you. Ciao.